Day 79 of the Daily Stoic. Timeless Wisdom. For there are two rules to keep at the ready. That there is nothing good or bad outside my own reason choice. And that we shouldn't try to lead events, but to follow them. Epictetus, Discourses 3.10.18. In the mid-20th century, there was an Indian Jesuit priest named Anthony de Mello. Born in Bombay when it was still under British control, de Mello was an amalgam of many different cultures and perspectives. East, West, he even trained as a psychotherapist. It's interesting when one sees timeless wisdom developed across many different schools, across epochs and ideas. Here is a quote from de Mello's book. The Way to Love, that sounds almost exactly like Epictetus. Quote, The cause of my irritation is not in the person, but in me. Remember, each individual has a choice. You are always the one in control. The cause of irritation or our notion that something is bad, that comes from us and our labels or our expectations. Just as easily, we can change those labels. We can change our entitlement and decide to accept and love what's happening around us. And this wisdom has been repeated and independently discovered in every century and every country since time began. You got it, brother. The irritation is not in anything else but yourself because everything outside yourself has no access, as we learned before previously in other daily stoic days that none of the outside world has permission or access to your brain and your mind and your reason and your rational choice unless you allow that externality, that external entity, that idea to come in and take over your mind. If you think about this, just this idea alone, you'll find that many people have allowed the outside world to dictate how they live their lives today. What a shame. What a travesty. What a sad narrative of a life. That people are literally living today completely guided by externalities, by media, by social by the news. They're completely controlled. Mind controlled is the word. They've been mind controlled. Why? We've talked about it so many times. They've allowed the outside world into here and they've given it permission to live in here and affect them and affect their reason choice as Epictetus always talks about. Remember, each individual has a choice. You are always the one in control. I've said this before. I'll say it again. Do you know the only common and consistent, probably a better word, the only consistent entity in every single one of your bad decisions is you. The only consistent entity, the only consistent person in every bad decision of your life is you. Like, you really can't blame anybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit happened. Ah, I get that. There are moments in life where things are completely out of your control, and it was so unfair. But you still had the ability to choose how you responded. You still had the ability to not get emotional. You still had the ability to not make it worse. You know, that, that burns me up. That just reminded me. That burns me up. I can't stand it when I see people who in, know that what they're about to do, usually a communication or an engagement with some other individual that they aren't happy with, they know what they're doing is wrong. Everyone knows what they're doing is wrong. It's, it's unnecessary, bro. Calm down. Back up. Take a breath. Hold on. Wait a minute. Don't go there because I'm with it. Like, you don't need to make it worse. You don't need to say that thing. You don't need to go confront them. It's not necessary right now. Don't make it worse, man. Don't make it worse. Remember, remember, remember. 
the cause of your irritation is not in the other person, but it is you who have allowed irritation to rest in you. And now you're dealing with it. See you in Discord, MetaFam.